Hi everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It is Monday, uh, December 13th. Just finding the comments. Sorry I'm a bit late. I was actually busy playing with some of the new products from the new catalog. So as you know, the the current mini catalog is done at the end of December and so the next mini catalog is the January to June 2022 and it's full of <clears throat> lots of beautiful new products including celebration and as you know last year or this year Stampin' Up! changed celebration so that it is two months January and February and also July and August so one of the products I'm going to show you today is from the celebration catalog so it is a free product that you're avail you will be able to get in January when you purchase. In Canada, it's $60 before tax and shipping. And it is the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. And it is totally cute. Nice bright colors, which is a nice contrast to the more neutrals and regals that we've been using for Christmas. So fun spring colors and although the stamp set and dies focus on rainbows, the paper could be used for a lot of different things. So you have the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. And it's got really cute little sentiments. You can stamp the rainbows or I'll show you how you can die cut them or you can just really cut them out of one of the pieces of paper. Cute little sentiments, you make me happy, you make this world a better place, and sending you a rainbow of happiness. A little something to brighten your day. And I'll show you when I used this one, <clears throat> how I modified it a bit, and you can do that when you have photopolymer. The dies are adorable. There is a big rainbow die, and we'll use that one on Wednesday. And this cute little tag one, well it could be a tag, it could be just a little sentiment. A nice little border one, a smaller rainbow, and some clouds. And we're going to use these ones today. I'm also using from the annual catalog the basic borders dies. So today we're going to use this one. These are awesome. And when you do cut it out, you can use both sides of your die cut piece. So that's a bit of an advantage that you only have to die cut once and you get two pieces that have the nice trim. You just have to think about that when you're cutting your original piece of paper so that you have um, a good amount of space on each side. For the sentiment for one of my cards, I'm using Party Puffins and I'm using the Happy Birthday. I love the font on this set, very cute. All right, and this is a six by six pack of paper it has 12 different designs, four of each. So this is actually only half of the paper. And if you turn it over, you can see all the other cute papers. And this one coordinates with another new product, which is the Cloud Punch, which I don't have yet, but when I do get it, it will um, coordinate with this paper. So the paper is really, really cute. I think you'll want to have it in your stash and you'll be able to get it for free. Hey, Minik. So we're going to be making two cards today, both little rainbow cards, and you can't look at these cards and not smile. They're just so happy. The colors are so bright and cheery. So let's start with this one. So I have my base of my card, <clears throat> Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, or basically fold in half. Then I have a layer of Daffodil Delight, which measures five and a half by three and a quarter. I kind of made up these measurements as I went along. And this is five and a half by three. And then we have a little border. So that's the border that I showed you. making sure I'm still live. Oh, refresh. <coughs> oh, 
all of the good that happened in the parts that are doing it again. All right, I'm just making sure I could be talking to myself here. Hmm. You can see there's three people watching. Yeah, and then Nick is Nick is chatting. All right, I'm just going to continue along. It says my internet's gone on my Facebook, but Perhaps you can still see me because I'm probably on my cell data now. Okay, so let's continue along. So we've got Daffodil Delight. So if you're showing, I can't even see the comments anymore. For some reason, I just lost my internet. I live in the country, so it's not surprising. <clears throat> so here we go. And this is that nice little die on the side. that we cut out of the designer series paper. So that was not that one, this one. And that's gonna go down here in the bottom. And then I did take the rainbow die and cut it out, stamped my greeting. This is just a little piece of white I put in the middle. And then one of the pieces of the designer series paper Uh, this one has pieces that are the exact size of the little rainbow. So we're going to use that. I had one of them here. Oh, here it is. So each piece has enough to die cut six. Well, you don't have to die cut it. You just cut them out and put it behind. So you do die cut on a little piece of paper. And then we're going to slide this behind. And it fits perfectly. So cute. And then we have some little clouds. Now the clouds are white, so we're doing white on white. So what I'm going to do is take my pool party and my blending brush and always start off the paper. And we're just going to take our little clouds and give them a little touch just a tint of the pool party. And with the clouds, it's usually a bit darker along the bottom. So that's good for that. I'm gonna close this up. Just checking to see if my internet came back. And it did. All right, so now I can see the comments. Well, maybe not. Anyways, we're back. I can see what I'm doing at least. So here we have the making of our card. So let's go and start putting the layers together. Just gonna use white glue for this part. And I just want a little bit of the color to show top and bottom. So we have that piece. And then we have this piece, but <clears throat> I want to make sure when I'm placing it that I have room for my little border. Now this is five and a half, so the border must be six. I think it is six. So we know we're going to have a little room to play with. So I look at my edge and see where I want it to start and end. For instance, it's always nicer if it starts right at one little section. So I'm just going to trim it.
And I'm just going to place this right underneath. And I think the way I'm going to do it as I'm looking at it is I'm going to glue this to the back and then I can add my other piece to the front. That's a cute little border as well. And then I'll just trim off on the right hand side. So I'll place this where I want it on my card. And I'll just trim this little bit off. And you could pop this up if you want. I'm just going to leave it flat. So let's put this on. I want to cover up a little bit of my border, but not too much. Now, to get this exactly where I want it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's not a lot of space between each one, so you don't have a lot of room to put glue. So I am going to put a little bit of glue up here in the corner, and maybe a little tiny bit down here. And I can put some here because I know it's going to be white there. I haven't done this yet, so I'm hoping this is a good way to do it. Perfect. Now, again, you could pop this up or just leave it flat. And if you don't like having these poke up, you can put a little bit of glue under there. I'm not going to bother. But this set is really fun to work with. It's the type of set that... You just want to sit down for a couple of hours and design a bunch of cards. And I'll show you with the next card how it's a good idea. It's a good set to make, for instance, four cards at a time. All right, now we have our little clouds, which are totally adorable. So in this die set, these ones die, cut together. So you get one, two, three, four. I like when they do that so that you don't have to cut each one. Well, you do have to cut them individually, but you can cut four at a time. So I find that helpful. This is a bigger one, so I'm going to glue it right down. And then the next one I'm going to pop up with a dimensional. I'm going to use a little edge, I think. I like using the edges of my dimensionals. Maybe put it that way, and then I'll put one more over here. I always like to use odd numbers, but you could put more if you like. I think five might be a bit too many. There we go. Happy birthday. I think it's really fun. Nice and bright and colorful. And super easy because you just do the one die cut. So when you use this die, it cuts this little frame out. And it also cuts all these inside pieces. So on the next card, I'll show you how we use those pieces together. All right, so I'll save my little clouds. So for this one, I've used the border die. So this is the border die from the Just Borders, or the, oh, here we go basic borders in the annual catalog. So I've used this one. So a little trick, because this paper is six by six, if you cut off a three inch piece and then do your border right down the middle, then you'll have two one and a half inch pieces to use on your card. So for this card, what we did, what I did, was I did that same die, but I actually cut it four times in four different colors. So I have Flirty Flamingo, Highland Heather, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight. I tried to pick up the colors in this little piece. Although I know purple's not in there, but I tried to pick up the other colors. I didn't use the Pool Party because my background was Pool Party. Now let me show you something interesting about this stamp. So the stamp, when I pulled it out to put around here, I just assumed it would fit. And then I laid it down and I thought, oh. So it's really designed when you stamp the rainbow, 
using the stamps that you can stamp this sentiment right on your rainbow. So what I did is I took it and put it on my paper and pushed it down on my paper. And then I took my block and put my block on top and then pulled it off and then use that to stamp this image. Went a little dark over there, but still looks cute. So that gives you a couple of different ways to use this curved stamp. And that's one of the nice things about photopolymer is that you can move them around and kind of reshape them. All right, so this technique is called inlay. So for this one, I did cut an inch off the side. So now it's seven and a half by five and a half. So we've got it folded. I have my piece of pool party, which is five and a quarter. And then I have my border that we know is one and a half. So you can put your border on top, you can tuck it underneath, you can do whatever you like to do. I think I'm going to tuck it underneath. So again, I'm going to put my border on first, so I know exactly where I want to put it. I'm just putting glue along the top. And making sure it's kind of even on both sides. Whoopsie. That's what's nice about the white glue. You have a little bit of wiggle time. And I'm making sure it's kind of the same spacing uh, all along. So that looks good. Now, I'm going to take this and glue it on. But for my little rainbow pieces, I don't want to be putting glue on each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue all along this part and then it'll hold everything down. I am going to use white glue because just because I can move it around a little bit. Uh, but you do have to be careful. You don't want too much. You don't want it oozing up out of your rainbow. So I'm kind of guessing. I know it's going to go down to here. I know it's going to go a little bit over. And I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to take the other end and smooth it out. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this on and hope I guessed right. You do have lines on the paper so you do want to make sure that you're kind of close. It's a little bit crooked. And then we go ahead and put these in while my glue is still wet. So you just take each one and lay it, it's called inlay, and lay it in the pieces of the rainbow. It's very fun and easy. So when you do this, you will have enough to make four cards because you'll have four of the fl flirty flamingo, four of the melody mango, four purple, and four yellow. The paper's a little bit crooked, but it's good enough. Now we have a couple of clouds to add. I'm going to add the big one at the back, and then I'll pop up the littler ones. Just using some of the edging. can't see your comments so I apologize if I'm not answering any of them. I did get my internet back but it's in a different view. So we've got two there. The little clouds are really cute. And then the little clouds on the paper are adorable as well. Put this one down here. Alright, so there we have our two cards for today. We're just making two. So this one we're using the inlay technique where we've cut it out four times using this die in four different colors and then each one is obviously going to be a different color order of the rainbow. You can't get too wrapped up in color order. You drive yourself crazy. So however it turns out it's still going to be a cute little rainbow. And there we have our other one using the die cut and the designer series paper. So again, this paper is a free celebration item available January 4th to customers.
right. Thanks for joining me today. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you will know when I go live. All right, I will be back on Wednesday and I will show you how to use the larger die with some beautiful gl uh, glitter paper. It's really, really pretty. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and we'll see you Wednesday. Thanks everyone.